Yes, now you can start, yes. Good day, students. I'm Dr. Sibongile Mayhen, the primary lecturer for the module TPG 2602. This module is the teaching practice um, module for the grade R diploma. And the teaching practice module coordinators for the grade R diploma are the following. At first level, you have Dr. Maluka for TPG 1501. And I am at second level with TPG 2602, Dr. Mahan. There's my email address there. And at level three, you will have uh, Prof. Mudise for TPG um, 2603. What is the purpose of this module? The purpose of the module is to give you an opportunity to acquaint one yourself with formal teaching, to be in a practical school situation, an opportunity to apply the theoretical knowledge, also to your, your focus on the practical application of the various teaching and learning strategies that you would have learned about in your theory modules. Now, for the administrative aspects, the teaching practice assessments are as follows. Tutorial letter 101 is for your module information, and it's got to do with all administrative matters. And tutorial letter 102 is for your placement information and it is provided by the teaching practice office. Assessment one is exam admission and it also contributes 10% towards your year mark. It consists of the school information and proof of placement in a school. Assessment two is also um, contributing 10% to your year mark, and it consists of the principal's report, the mentor report, the register, and confirmation of presence in school. Assessment three, or portfolio 51, is the summative assessments. That's where you have to do your lesson plans and presentation in class. It uh, contributes another 50% towards your um, exam mark and assessment for or portfolio 51 is also the same thing. It consists of lesson activities that you have to plan and present during your time at teaching practice. Now, I have a few important nuggets that you can take from this session. The responsibilities for teaching practice lie with two um, offices. It's the teaching practice office as well as the module lecturer. That is me. I am the coordinator for TPG 2602. What are portfolios? The portfolios that are also called assessment three and four, those are an exam. But the only difference between those and your regular exam is that there is no aggregate or supplementary and there is no remark. Students are, however, allowed to purchase their scripts if they have questions. Both portfolios should be submitted, otherwise it's absent from exam. The register is critical. If the student does not include the register, which is proof that you have been to a school, then you get, you get a zero. Now, you have not submitted the attendance register that must go with the assessments. Attendance register authenticates that you, you have indeed completed the mandatory five weeks of teaching practice required by DHET as per instructions. You therefore do not qualify to pass assessment 50 or 51 if you do not include the register. Here's some critical administration information. Please, students, always use my life email. The emphasis on critical information can be found through announcement, tp tube, and bulk emails. 
WILL, which stands for Work Integrated Learning, has no supplementary exams or aggregate exams as specified earlier. Also, there is no remarking. Students are not allowed to email submissions. These will be ignored and not marked. The attendance register should be attached to all documents, workbook 50 and 51, as well as assessments. Students need to keep in mind that we are all a team. We are not trying to catch each other out. We are trying to help you become the best teacher that you can be. So every time you get information from teaching practice office or from the module lecturer, just keep in mind that we are working as a team and it's all for you. Now, there is no reduction of the five weeks per module. You cannot um, uh, take two, four weeks and think you are done with your, your teaching practice. It's five weeks mandatory. And there are disciplinary steps for disciplinary action and also suspension. from any further studies at the university. If found to plagiarize other students' work, photos, or lessons, they will also face, face disciplinary steps as fraud. Now, there are some of the students. Do I have to do all five weeks consecutively? You can separate the weeks. You can do two weeks and then do the other three weeks, or do three weeks and then do the other two weeks. Um, but if you can, you can do five consecutive weeks. The school where I do my practicals has no great art. What should I do? You should make sure that you go to a school that has a great art since you are doing the great art diploma. We, you can't do practicals in grade one or grade two, for instance. You have to go to a school that has great art. I'm pregnant and need to be accommodated. Can I do less days or can you extend two dates? Students are advised to not do teaching practice, especially in the last trimester of the pregnancy. Um, they should, they are advised to choose dates accordingly. They know themselves. The health of the student and the baby is of utmost importance. Uh, for the university. I was not well during the submission due dates. Can I contact other colleagues for intervention, like DSSA, student advisors, and colleagues from other departments? Yes, students are allowed to contact other um, colleagues for intervention. The portfolio or they need more information on school placements, they can contact the teaching practice office. That is all from me. Uh, good luck with your teaching practice and thank you.